Hello and welcome. This is your host, Zamora Gaming. I am Joe, and I am here to bring you a little playthrough of Pokemon Shield. <clears throat> Just in case you're wondering, it's not your normal playthrough. We will be doing uh, a Nuzlocke format, and a little bit different than the traditional one, but we will be doing... Um, a oh, wonder lock. There we go. Uh, basically, it's the same thing as a as a what you call it as a regular nuzlocke, but um, in this case, we will be uh catching the first Pokemon on each route, and then showing them uh trading them for a random Pokemon on the random trade. And whatever Pokemon we get from that is what we'll be using on our team to complete our journey through the Galar region. And I'm just trying to make sure everything's streaming right. Because it's not showing up too well on here. Well, it shows I'm streaming, but it doesn't show on the app or anything. Let's see. Let me look at this real quick. Okay, well, it's showing that it's streaming on there, so I'm good. I'll just keep going. So, we have Rose, the the main guy of the story, talking about how he's introducing everyone to the game and all that. And, um, let's let the journey continue. Or begin, however you want to see it. And then, uh, obviously, that's Leon. He's the leader of... Well, he's not the leader. He's uh, the champion, the undefeated champion. And we got to get in there and try to beat him ourselves. And my thing's still looking weird. <clears throat> all right, there we go. I can see that we have uh, two people watching now. So thank you all for joining. And we will continue our journey. As I said, we are doing a uh, wonder lock, so to speak, but it's not called wonder trading anymore. So, eh, tomato, tomato. To uh, wonder lock works for me. But we go ahead and start our journey here in Galar, talking to our rival at the moment. And yeah, at the beginning it's pretty slow. So anyone who wants to make comments in the chat, go ahead and let me know. So, uh, I'll answer some questions and hopefully keep uh, the audience entertained and interactive as I try to speed through this little story mode here. I'm not really going to read any of it since I'm doing a challenge run. I should have just probably just skipped ahead all the way to the point where we get the Pokemon. But it's okay. I we got it. <sighs> All right. So, what's his name? I forget his name. It's not Hal. It's the last game. Oh yeah, we gotta go get our bag and our hat. We gotta be styling on our way out of the door. All right, we got the dad's old bag, which is. Eh, I'm not a fan of the backpack in this game, but that's what we're held, dealt. And even the new bags that you can buy, they're still not that great. But I do like uh, that we can change the hat pretty quick. I don't like this hat either. But I do like this game. Aesthetically, it's great. The story sucks, but eh, who plays Pokemon for the story, right? <laughs> I like to th I like to think uh, Gen Five had a great story. That's one that's my favorite anyway. The best part was uh, Black and White Two made it even better by just adding on to the story instead of playing the same story over again with like a slight twist. So that that was refreshing to see when they did that. And 
and let's go ahead and move on to uh, his mother's house, I believe. We have to meet him there for some reason. Look at the scenery. Just all them Wooloo in the background. Butterfree playing about. Wooloo's blocking the road. And here we are. Now we're going to waste a little bit of time talking to uh, his mother. But the real thing is we're just trying to go see his brother, the champion. Plot twist if y'all didn't expect to see that coming. But yeah, his brother is the champion and that's who gives us our Pokemon. Oddly enough, it's not a professor. And come to think of it, you hardly talk, you hardly, uh, talk to the professor uh, in this game. You mainly talk to her assistant, mostly. They kind of just put her out of the way real quick. Uh, they give you the Diganamaxing... Diganamax, Dynamaxing and Giganamaxing pretty early on. So, it's pretty interesting. And fun fact, if you ever try to uh, go into the wild and Gigantamax, you actually can't. You can only Gigantamax... Oh, wait, I don't think you Dynamax in the wild, either. Oh, never mind. Forget what I was saying. Adnil, how, uh, how are you doing? Adnil21, welcome to the stream. And here we go. So he does his little stance with his Charizard in the background. And he talks a lot. But this isn't what y'all came to see. Y'all came to see the challenge run. So let's go ahead and speed on through this. And also, uh, pretty soon, I'll be uh, starting some YouTube videos. Uh, so strictly... Uh, videos, they won't be streams, and I'll be putting them on my YouTube channel. It's also Zamora Gaming. It's not 43. I kind of had to put 43 here because uh, Zamora Gaming itself was taken. So I might add 43 onto the YouTube one, but for now it's just Zamora Gaming, and the link is somewhere around here, probably in the description. So, there's always that. Y'all can always check that out. And finally, we can go get our Pokemon. Alright, here we go. You brought Joe and me a Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right on. And then we get to see all the Pokemon play. Take a good look, you two. Because you will only get one. Grookey, my favorite. Then Score Bunny, the fire type, and then the water type. Uh, that's not worth mentioning the name of. Woohoo! Thanks for following. Thank you for the follow. Really hope everyone that follows and joins in has a good time, has fun, and as always, you can always make a comment, and I will respond as soon as I see it. And that's why no one likes that Pokemon, because it's a goddamn crybaby. <clears throat> and here we go. Finally, the moment of truth. We can pick a starter. Um, I don't... I probably will wonder trade the starter, but it might be after I have two Pokemon, so I could train up that second Pokemon real quick and then wonder trade this one, because you never know what levels you're gonna get either. But I'm gonna pick the Grookey anyway. And we're just gonna name it WT for wonder trade, because that's what we're gonna be doing with it. And I don't want to waste everyone's time and just type out some more gaming because 
We get it. Zamora's gaming. We're playing. Now, of course, he's going to take Sobble. He's going to pick the weaker one because they do that now in Pokemon. But he already has a Wulu as well. And if you heard that, that was me drinking water. So you get your ASMR in these videos too. And of course, the sad little score, score bunny goes with uh, Leon, the champion. And then the mothers come, they throw a barbecue. And then we battle, how, uh, what's his name? I don't know, I ain't been paying attention. But I guess it's not really that important now, is it? Man, I think it just took two straight off the barbecue pit. His hands must be burning. Oh, so it's the next day. Got it. Oh, Hop. Another three-letter rival name. Alright, yes, I get it. You want to be the world's strongest trainer like your brother. Uh, but you're going to lose this battle. I don't know why I have to accept the challenge from his brother, but here we go. Boom, baby! And also, guys, while I'm doing this battle, I just wanted to let everyone know that... Whoever likes just Pokemon battles and doesn't really like playthroughs or whatnot, uh, on the PML channel on YouTube, I post my draft league battles there. So you can always feel free to go there and watch those. Pretty exciting matches. So most of the time it's a close one. Every now and then it's a blowout one way or the other. But I feel if you like battling and you like draft league, it's a... It's a unique new style that not many people play. And also, any viewers can even just join the group and also become a member and actually participate in a draft league. Alright, here we go. We got Branch Folk now. Yeah, you cheated. You used two Pokemon versus my one. If I was him, I wouldn't be too proud of it. Yeah, I know about type advantages. Alright, Sob will try to lay down the poundage. But Grookey ain't having it. He pokes him with that tree branch. And he goes down. And that's the match! We go ahead and gain two levels, and now we have to take on the rest of the challenge. I don't know if we could uh, trade Pokemon at this point, but um, for the wild, I don't think I'm going to counter encounter in the wild until post. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that because. The levels fluctuate, and I don't want to risk getting demolished by a Pokemon in there. So I might uh, just wait on catching a Pokemon there. We'll have to see. And of course, more story. And I don't even think we can access that part yet because we got to get the YCOM, and I think that's after. We talked to uh, that one lady, the professor's assistant. So, okay. Let's keep it moving, fellas. And then here we just got like three real quick... Um, We got three real quick, uh, what you calls it, wild battles, and then we get to face off against this interesting Pokemon that y'all probably just heard right now. 
Oh, excuse me. Alright, we got a squivet as our first wild encounter. Let's go ahead and take this sucker out. I like squivet's design. I just don't like its second design. The big chungus looking thing. But, eh, it makes sense. It's a hibernating squirrel. Alright, let's keep on trucking. We got two more of these little wild encounters. Uh, why do they have mandatory, ma mandatory, mandatory, mandatory wild encounters? Uh, more than one? I don't get it. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. And this one's a real kitty, so we probably should go scratch. That was a little embarrassing. I'm better at Pokemon than it may seem here. Alright, and since we don't have Pokeballs, we can't really start the Nuzlocke portion of it yet. So, let's just try to uh, get through this. Because, I mean, mandatory story. And it's a long part. It's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, what they did in Platinum. The whole legendary... Oh, I spoiled it, didn't I? <laughs> the kind of... Well, that. That whole, oh, we gotta go do a legendary catch, legendary bullshit. That they did there. They kind of do the same thing here. And uh, also, guys, if y'all tune in late here and y'all don't get to catch, like, the first part of the stream... I always record it, and I will post it to the YouTube channel, uh, same night, so, I mean, just prefers if you rather watch Postcom, or be involved in the chat, it's just up to you. I'll be talking the same way regardless. Alright, now that we got those three mandatory things out of the way, Hop's gonna keep stopping us, and... Blah, blah, blah about Wooloos, because he has one. And let's just get past here. Go deep into the fog, which everyone knows we're not supposed to be doing. But, let's screw the rules. Rebel children. Can't even see my hand in front of my own face. But you see the, you see the thing right there in front of you, don't you? They tried too hard to be cinematic. He just said he couldn't see his hand in front of his face, but he sees the big wolf. Hop, don't be annoying. And then uh, you kind of just got to attack three times. Because, uh, I mean, you can't affect this thing. For some reason, they made it seem like an apparition instead of a Pokemon. Which I guess if people don't pay attention, they might think it's a ghost type. But even then, Branch Poke won't touch it. So I'm just kind of growling because it's the quickest animation. And let's keep on trucking. Just in case y'all are wondering, yeah, I kind of just got the layout things from Google and made it myself on uh, Photoshop. Uh, came up with the names of more gaming with my wife. We were talking about it, and I was just like, well, what about this? And she was like, eh, it's not bad. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Because, uh... I was like, I was thinking about naming my channel J uh, JPEG. No, like, a playoff of, like, stuff from Photoshop and stuff like that. And she was like, they're going to come to your channel for thinking there's pegging. I was like, what the hell? Like, why would 
why would you make that connection? And I was like, Joe plays every game. That's why I was thinking, like, JPEG, be funny, play on word, and all that stuff. And she was just like, eh, it, I, I would think it was about Peg. I was like, okay, that's weird. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go with some more gaming instead. And she was like, yeah, that works. Alright, let's get through the story here. Hop is all excited. He got knocked out by a Pokemon. And we can finally, hopefully, start. I mean, we still gotta go do that Professor crap. And get our, uh, Rotom stuff. Yeah, we still can't connect online or anything, so. We gotta keep going. We're stuck with Grookey for now. I don't want to tell my mother. My mother. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, she's over here in the kitchen where women belong. She thinks Grookey's cute. I'm leaving on a journey. She gives me some money. Thank you, Ma. Oh, she gave me potions. Yeah, uh, I'll eat whatever I want. And now we're off. Now we can leave. Don't have to see our mother ever again until the post game. We outie. Here we go. This is quite a big step. You know, uh, my next step is becoming a champion. With Sobble, the Pokemon that just lost to you. I'm going to be a champion now. It's like, yeah, kid, uh, go for it. Follow your dreams. And Pokemon pop out of nowhere. But we're going to avoid all them. We don't need unnecessary battles. We've got plenty of levels on us right now. But I do want to get these Pokeballs because Paralyze Heal. Oh, you get two and one. That's interesting. And, yes, we were able to avoid all the Pokemon. Charizard's here having a good time. We still can't go to the Pokemon Center yet. And now we have to make conversation with the orange-headed lady, better known as the professor's assistant. Oh, and Charizard sneaking up on us. Look at that. Oh, boy. I'll give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything here looks fascinating. My work! Oh, look at this little thing. It's so adorable. Uh, can I kill it with my Grookey? No? Alright. And then we got Redhead Wonder over here. Good to see you, Gamper. And that is what the Pokemon's name is. You would think it'd be a nickname. But Gamper is the name of the Pokemon. And then it evolves into Bolton. Dog Pokemon, am I right? Alright, here we go. He's always with his head in the cloud. No wonder he gets lost. Hey, here's a Rotom phone. I'll take a Rotom phone. Can I call people? Can I look up stuff on the internet? No? Just Pokedex related? Got it. What good is that? Yep, yep. Hey, trainer, sorry to stop you. <laughs> you just love the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers. Give them useful stuff. Oh, thanks for the potions. I already had, like, four of them. I know what potions do, sir. Your mother is power. And we're off. Now he's talking to a lady, probably giving her a potion. Or a PP up, if you know what I mean. And Hop is telling us about how to use a Pokemon Center. When we already know how, obviously. But, just in case you don't know. You walk inside, you give the Pokeballs to the lady behind uh, behind the counter. And she heals them for you. she make your balls feel better. 
And for right now, you have to use the Rotom PC. Oh my god, everyone shut up. Alright, how leaves I leave. Oh man, mystery gift. Do I get a mystery gift? Get via local while we can local communication. Let's see what we get. You never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Give me that Pokemon. Nah, taking too long. But uh let's see. Options. Let's go ahead and tweak those real quick. Uh, automatic. We can. We're not gonna give nicknames. It's gonna waste time. Auto save off. Don't show. And we're gonna choose to skip movies. All right, let's see what we got in the bag. Got potions, paralyzed hills, pokeballs, and an adventure rod and a fishing rod. Adventure guide and a fishing rod. Stupid me. Well, at least we get to fish right off the back. And then uh, we got our town map over here. And eventually we'll be able to fly places, but we can't do that yet. So let's keep on trucking. We still have no access to online play. And I don't think we get that till we go to the we go to the wild area. So just a bit more time. So you know what? Let's go ahead and catch a, a few Pokemon. Just to have them. So by the time we wonder trade, uh they're it's they're set and good to go. So first encounter of Route One, let's see. Boom. No tweaking, just going. Oh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and give it a nice little branch poke since it's level 6. I feel like it could live it. Oh, with room to spare. I'm going to go ahead and poke it again. Poke it a few more times. But not in the weird way, in the regular way. Just a branch poke. Just a little pokey poke. Hokey pokey. One more time. Do not crit. Because I think that will knock it out. Alright, perfect. Don't kill me though. Pokeball. Gotta catch them all. No. Not in this case. It's a Nuzlocke. You can only catch one. And it stays in the Pokeball. And we go ahead and keep it in our party for now. Oh, we got to level 8 and learn taunt. How unuseful to me. Squivet's Pokedex data is added. And we can move on to route number 2. So we can get our third Pokemon to want to trade off. So basically, I will not be catching a wild Pokemon. I mean, wild area Pokemon. And I will only catch Pokemon that are on actual routes. So, there won't be all that, oh, you can catch a Pokemon from each area of the wild area and all that. Unnecessary for this kind of challenge. There's plenty of routes for us to catch plenty of Pokemon to trade off. And Oh my god, more Pokeballs. And we'll just make it work like that, guys. No issues. Alrighty, and just in case anyone's wondering, I will be streaming pretty much every day from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, just in case y'all happen to want to watch tomorrow, next day. Um, tomorrow I might not uh, stream, just because I've been, I streamed yesterday, streamed today. So it might take one day of the middle of the week not streaming, spend time with my beautiful wife. And, yeah, pretty much just that. Uh, I, I 
do plan on recording some uh, battles later. To I mean, not battles, some videos for the YouTube channel. Um, hopefully that gets done. But you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, I, at least I'll be having my streams up. And uh, yesterday I did stream, and uh, I streamed Emerald Nuzlocke, and that's still available for me to do. I just don't know what happened to the video, like. On the on my channel, it's not showing I have a past stream up, but I clearly do because I streamed yesterday and I got the notification for it and all that. And okay, here we go. Trainer battle. See if we can avoid it. Nope. He's got eyes for days. Now let's teach this youngster what a seasoned veteran trainer can do. And I should have healed up before battle. That's, uh, not a good start with the trash talk I'm giving out. So we waste turn one with the potion. And we keep on going. Squivy does a little tackle. Shouldn't do much. And, uh, let's go ahead and branch poke. Let's poke this thing to death with our stick. A one hit, a two hit, and then a three hit will be taking this thing out. And then it whips his tail back and forth like it's party time. But it's a uh, last ditch effort of uselessness because Branch Poke takes it out. Right between the eyes. Your chubby cheese ain't going to help you here. And we have our Pokemon all the way up to level nine. And we keep on walking all the way down the hill. And please, Lord, avoid all these trainers. Let's use our real Pokemon to come back and battle them. Nope. Skirt. And then, oh my God, why do they have? Why do they make these mandatory trainer battles? This could have been useful EXP for later. Challenged by Youngster Benjamin with his blip bug. That's an attractive name. Let's go ahead and scratch. And that looks like it'll be a Tuco. Tuco from Baby Zuko. Oh, my special attack fell. Good thing I'm using physical attacking moves. And you go down. Alright, we got a little bit of XP. Oh, man, we got another Pokemon. Nick it. Cleaning tail and all. It's a weird design for a Pokemon, I feel. But, you know. Some people like it, I guess. And that will be a Tuco as well. Can you put up a challenge? I doubt it. I can't wait to see what Pokemon we get from uh, the Wonder Trade or Random Trade or whatever the fuck. Whatever it's called now. Because it will be a sight to see. Hopefully we don't get like Caterpies or nothing like that. Because that would suck. Oh dear me, oh dear my, it's Miss Willow, or Professor Willow, oh Magnolia, where did I get Willow from? Oh man, I do not know. My dear, here's the Pokedex, oh you got a Pokedex from Sonia. And uh, I'm going to give you something else, because... You know, Pokemon are gen po in Pokemon world. We are very generous people. We just give free stuff away for no apparent reason. And then his brother is gonna sponsor us. I mean, I'd rather be sponsored by that record label right there. I mean, look at that. That's a dope logo. And I think we could leave. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, we're battling for the endorsement. So we battle him again. Ugh. 
dude, you suck. Hopefully my Pokemon are at least healed. I didn't really do that. That's a dope cane. It's a, I think it's like an old Zapdos. Like from Gen 1 design. Uh, unless it's just a regular Pidgey, but it still looks cool. I, I pretty much like it very much. And here we go again. Round 2 with Hop. We are facing a Wooloo. And Grookey's coming out. Mr. WT for the Wonder Trade that we will be doing pretty soon. As soon as we get online. And let's go ahead and just go for a taunt. Because I don't want him to build up them defenses. And I don't want him to ground me. Because i got to take on two Pokemon. Alright, our Pokemon are healed. And Branch Poke... Oh, shoot. I misclicked. God dang it. Unnecessary damage. Alright, but here we go. Branch Poke... Uh, it'd probably be a three-hit kill, judging from the first battle. Oh, and we are doing damage. Let's go ahead and give this little thing a poke again and knock it out. So far, if I if I noticed correctly, pretty much all male Pokemon. Oh, aside from Nicket. But yeah, pretty much uh, our little monkey is branch poking all these male Pokemon. All right, Rookity is in, and it's annoying to see a bird-type Pokemon so early on facing my grass-type. You better live it. I got to wonder trade you. And down goes Rookity. And last but not least, a Sobble that we should be able to one-hit kill. It'll be a close one, but that's the exact sort of match. That's... Wait, what? Anyway, it's not even close, dude. I have three Pokemon, you have none. So, prepare to uh, faint to my Pokey Stick. Oh, and you live. Look at you, seems you really learned your tight matchups. Uh, yeah, use that move from the first battle. Uh, a wave is going to crash right over me. Ooh, that hurt. Branch poke for the win, baby. And down goes Sobble. And I deserve the endorsement. But of course, he's going to endorse his brother as well. Knowing good and well enough that he's trash as hell at Pokemon. But, you know, brother's got to do what brother's got to do. So, come on. Taking too long to try to get to where we're going. And he gives us both a letter of endorsement. And then we can challenge the league now. That's pretty interesting. In this in this league, you gotta actually be like, oh yeah, I'm recognized as a battler. Oh, look at the shooting star. Oh, and there's two. It breaks into two. Ow, what a coincidence. You know, she could turn these uh, wishing stars into Dynamax, Dynamax wristbands. And we get wishing stars all the time. So how many wristbands is she actually going to make us? Super Leslie, welcome to the stream. And I don't remember exactly what it is it is, but uh, cool beans for sure. All right, uh, I think now she'll finally give us the Dynamaxing tool, and hopefully we can uh, automatically just start Wonder Trading right away, so we can get some uh, Pokemon fresh and ready of what we're actually going to be using on this uh, challenge. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. All 
right. They're talking about Gigantamax form, Dynamax forms, and s stuff like that. And let's... We got our YCOM. So let's go ahead and do a surprise trade. Let's see if we can do that. You have no Pokemon in your boxes, so you can't carry out a trade. Please start trade a trade after catching some more Pokemon. Okay, so basically we have to... Um, Put the Pokemon we want to trade in the PC. One last thing before you go. Yeah, I see Pokemon in tall grass. Okay, if you whistle at them, they'll come out and get you. And I'm not looking to whistle at Pokemon. I'm not a predator. I'm a trainer. And let's avoid this girl. No. Get away. Oh, look, a Yamper. Just waiting for me to be distracted and gain its uh, attention. Man, look at that Choodle all the way up here. Oh, no. Get away. I'm not trying to catch anything. I already caught things here. Uh huh. Whistled. And we're back in Wedgehurst. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and deposit some Pokemon. I don't think I can do it here. Just quite yet. No, I can't. So We're going to go ahead and go back into the Pokemon Center real quick. Do some Wonder Trades and see what we get for our team. Oh my god, dude. Enough with the, enough with the crazy talk. I'm ready to see the Pokemon we're officially going to have on our team. I know I picked Grookey and I caught a few other Pokemon, but that's not the Pokemon we're going to be destroying you with for the rest of the game. Check boxes, please. I'm going to deposit these two for now. And depending on the level we get, I will be using the Grookey to level them up and train them. And if they come in at a reasonably decent level, I won't do that. I'll just go ahead and trade off the Grookey 2 and just start the challenge. But I would say anywhere from like 8 to 12 would be a, a decent... Oh, man. So that's an issue. Can I still do a surprise trade? Let's see. I don't. I don't think we can. So we might just have to do a regular Nuzlocke. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that. I do not have my account active on here. Well, this is not an active uh, account. So it looks like we're going to be doing a regular Nuzlocke, which is fine. I still prefer Grookey over the other ones anyway. And let's just go ahead and move them back into our uh, party. So these will be the Pokemon we'll be using. Um, I still will be trying, not trying to, uh, what do you call it? I won't be influencing the Pokemon I get. I'm basically just going to run up to the first Pokemon I see and catch that one. Because that's the way it should be anyway. Yeah, I caught some, but... Uh, not big fans of them. I'm, I'm probably going to use a Squivet just because uh, I like the way it looks and I haven't been able to use one yet. But I will not be using a Dark and Normal type. I'm just going to kind of have Naked in the party just in case we get hit a rough spot and have to let a Pokemon down. Or put a Pokemon down, I should say. Oh, look, you do get to see your mother again. You know, your mother doesn't look as old as Hal's mother or Hop's mother. So that's, that's interesting. But um, basically at this point of the game, they go ahead and give us like camping gear and stuff like that. So we're able to uh, go camping and make curry and stuff like that in this game. I have yet to do it, even in my uh, original playthrough. So, eh, it's not something I'll be doing here either. I'm pretty much just going to stick to the nuts lock and that's it. Um, the only way I will not catch the first Pokemon I run into is if it's a duplicate clause. Or species. But other than that, I'll be catching the first Pokemon I see. Alright, so 
here's basically, um, what is it? Oh yeah, so basically here, uh, there's Wulu blocking the train tracks. So we couldn't get to the original destination we were trying to get to. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Sure. We couldn't get to the original destination we were actually trying to get to. So we basically stopped uh, right ahead of the wild area. So we had to walk through the wild area to get to where we're trying to go. And funny story about that is uh, when I originally started playing these games, we, uh, like me and all my friends, we kind of like explored the wild area for a long time before we even actually got to the first gym. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually get to the first gym by the end of this episode. Because, uh, man, I spent days in the wild area before I finally even got to register my my uh, my uh, character. Excuse me. Before I could actually register my character to get into the gym challenge itself. So, good thing is we'll be avoiding all these... Uh, wild Pokemon and just getting us straight into the next route to catch our next Pokemon. And here we go. Uh, when do we get a bike? That's, that's something I'm going to, I'm going to be missing until we actually get it. But as you can see, uh, this is an open world. So there's little Pokemon, but there's also big Pokemon. And if you hit the big Pokemon, at the levels we're at right now. Uh, use the right stick. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, if we hit the big Pokemon at the levels we're at right now, we're going to get wrecked. Because they're going to be like level 35, 30, even 24, uh, some at 60. And uh, that's not Pokemon you want to play right now whenever you have only level 10 as your max. So... As beautiful as the wild area is, we're going to avoid it and go ahead and get into what we're really trying to get into. I think it's Hammerlock. Hammerlock City. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't want to read all this. Let's go. So, basically, when you first start, you'll see a bunch of notes just to tell you about how the wild area works and what to do and what not to do. But I basically just summed it up for you. If you're not ready for high level Pokemon, stay out of the wild area. Or only attack the baby looking Pokemon. Whew. Jesus. Hey, over here. Another Pokemon Center. Let me show you how it is. Hello and welcome everyone who is watching right now. Thank you for joining the stream. And always, I am recording. So, the same time as I'm streaming. So, if you missed the first part of the video, I'll always be putting it up on the YouTube channel. Should be in the description down below. And if it's not, let me know and I'll make sure to put the link on the side for you. Alright, and then uh, she's basically telling you the lottery system. Uh, in the Rotom thing, and also you can do uh, Rotom jobs to help your Pokemon get like EVs up and all that stuff. But uh, evidently, at the end of the game, you can always just get the candies and such, and it's a lot quicker and better, in my opinion. And oh my god, they gotta stop us every two seconds. But yeah, I was wrong. Uh, Hammerlock is the other city. Uh, later in the game, this is Mosotoke City, and this is where the fire gym is located, but also the place where you register your team, or not your team, but uh, your player ID to start the gym challenge. Let's go. Uh, and again, like I said, I don't really like all this stop and go stuff. I wish Pokemon would stick to Pokemon and stop trying to make it all theatrical and stuff. And I thought we even had stuff, the option like to skip it, and we still can't skip any of this. Ugh, just nothing but text. 
Oh, and since we uh, picked uh, Grookey, we do get the uh, mystery, uh, miracle seed. <laughs> I can't talk. And here we go. All the way up. And now we go register, I think. Or there's something where we have to go to the hotel first. And we meet the evil team of the game. Oh, no, wait. We register, then go to the hotel. Then we do the ceremony the next day. And, of course, if you know by now... Well, if you don't know by now, you got to pick your own number and all that stuff. And obviously we're going with 43 because that's my favorite number. And it'll be more fun to do that than 69 or 420 or 666 or whatever. All those other crazy numbers that people decide. <laughs> Hop's pissed. Uh, this is a cutscene. I thought we could skip it. Uh, yes, this is going to be me complaining through all these cutscenes for a little while. Alright, now we get to pick our numbers. And 0, 43, because we have to pick three numbers. You know what? I never, I never realized... If I would just try to pick 43, if it would put like the zero at the end or the front. But oh well, we picked 0, 043, and that's what we're going to stick with. Here we go, another goddamn stopping point. And here we go. Dude, I see it. It's obvious. Oh my god. The Badoo Inn. And more story. Bless you. Bless you. You're welcome. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing in the hotel? Oh, I don't know. I was probably sleeping. But no, talking about the warrior of the sword and the shield. No, oh, I, did I pick the quick one? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, basically they think uh, it's a person who was the legendary hero of the sword and the shield. When we clearly already saw who it was. And we're going to go ahead and take on uh, Team Yell here. Because they're being annoyances. And these dudes are fat. Uh, I get y'all heard of Zeke wearing the crop top, but I don't, it's not working for you guys. So they have the little punked out Zigzagoon. And sadly, we don't have a fighting type move yet. So Branch Poke will have to do for now. And it's going to be a poke of three to knock this thing down. Oh, man. Whoop. There it is. Nick, it grew to level eight. Learn home claws. Squib, it grew to level eight. And the Team Yell member is defeated. Now we move on to number two. I think we battled three. Or like three or four of them. No, just one and one, I think. Because women always have to do something the man's doing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you uh, look at the poster they have, it's going to be pretty relevant here in a minute. Well, with all the Pokemon they have... Uh, they're all weak to fighting, so once we get a fighting type Pokemon, uh, when we run into these dudes, it shouldn't be an issue anymore. And um, 
going to do a little five minute warning here. Uh, we're going to end the stream in about five minutes. Uh, always follow and ring the bell to get notifications from when I'm going on. And I appreciate anyone who's watched all the way through or even watched a little bit of it. Um, I will be streaming again on Thursday for sure. Uh, and Friday. Uh, maybe this. Or maybe even um, the Emerald Nuzlocke that I was doing. So. Uh, well, on the on the phone I'm viewing my stream. I haven't seen nothing freeze. So maybe it's a connection issue. Uh, I don't know. But we haven't uh, had freezing issues yet that I've noticed. But yeah, guys, always, if y'all want to rewatch the stream or watch the parts you missed, go ahead and check out uh, Zamora Gaming on YouTube. Uh, link, again, should be in the description below. And also, if you like watching just battles, uh, I do draft league battles that uh, are from uh, PML. That's uh, Pokemon Masters League. And they're pretty exciting. Like I said, most of them are pretty close. So, if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and give that a like. Or, you gotta check out on PML on YouTube. Alright, now we take out the Naked. And we can go ahead and focus on the Zigzagoon here. And we have jumped up pretty quick with all these... Uh, with all these, god dang it, with all these levels, yes, that's what I was trying to say, all these little encounters have been giving us pretty good e EXP. And then uh, Razor Leaf is a little more powerful than Branch Poke, so we're going to go ahead and issue the damage there. Hopefully take out this Zigzagoon. Oh, and it lives on one. Luckily, uh, we had a second attacking move going into it. And down goes Zigzagoon. And that is that. Team Yell is no longer an issue. We button their lips. Oh, and there's the girl from the poster. What are you lot doing here? Marine! At nothing. We was just uh, uh, being annoying as hell. Sorry about them. They're just such fans. And they like to be annoying. And then that's more Pico. She got a little more Pico. The thing goes from electric to dark type. Depending on its mood. And that's where we're going to end the stream here, guys. Thank you all for watching. And again, check out YouTube. Check out me on Facebook. Uh, PML. And... See you guys next time. Hope you'll have a good night.